An anonymous threat against police officers across Dallas saw the city's police headquarters and surrounding blocks cordoned off for searches by SWAT teams. The all clear came later after police searched a car park for what they described as a suspicious person. No suspect was found. The city's still tense after Thursday's sniper killing of five officers and wounding of seven others, along with two civilians. Tributes for the victims continued to pour in. Handwritten messages, colourful flower bouquets, balloons and stuffed animals cover several police vehicles. A US Army reservist who served in Afghanistan has been named by authorities as the lone gunman in the attack. Authorities said 25-year-old Mika Johnson embraced militant black nationalism and professed a desire to kill white people. He was killed by a bomb-carrying robot in a parking garage where he'd holed up and refused to surrender. Thursday's bloodshed happened during an otherwise peaceful protest denouncing two fatal police shootings of black men in Louisiana and Minnesota earlier in the week.